Let's bring in retired U.S. Army Major John Spencer. He's now the chair of Urban Warfare Studies at the Madison Policy Forum and the author of the new book, Connected Soldiers. Major, it's always great to have you on. Uh, it feels like a big development, this first grain shipment since February, but still it's just one ship. What kind of progress is this in your eyes? I, I mean, I think it's very promising, like you said, to finally have those ports open. I mean, this is a test, basically, ship of only 26,000 tons. And if you remember, there's, there's over 25 million tons stuck there that there are literally millions of people dying in Africa and the Middle East who don't have that because Russia kept it at bay. We're told dates and timings of further shipments are, are still to be determined, but at least this one ship does appear to have gotten out. It'll go to Turkey will be, where it will be inspected, and then uh, we'll continue to track it from there. Meantime, let's talk about the fighting and the southern region of Mykolaiv enduring more intense shelling overnight. The mayor there describing it as the worst he's seen since the invasion began. What's your sense of the state of play right now in terms of where the battle is and who has momentum right now? Yeah, Anna, it's pretty fluid. And I, I think Mykolaiv really, you know, it's continued Rus Russian missile terrorism. But I think they're also frustrated by the gains that they are seeing by Ukraine in the south, especially around Hirasan, where they're, Ukraine's poised to, to have a, basically a strategic win of reclaiming Harrison, while Russia hasn't been able to achieve the gains it's wanted to in the Donbass and Donetsk, and it's really slowing down. So, I, um, one, you see this is continued momentum gaining by Ukraine, and then momentum loss through Russia. And yet, President Zelensky ordered a mandatory evacuation from the Donetsk region over the weekend. Now, that to me feels like a change in posture and tone from Zelensky, who's been, you know, so upbeat, so all about defeating Russia no matter what. It, it feels like he's sending a message almost that a Russian victory in that area is an in inevitable if he's ordering a mandatory evacuation. But how do you interpret it? Yeah, I, mean, I, I interpret it as a, a great leader would do. Um, even when you're trying to achieve tactical gains, you're not going to put civilians at risk where you see mm -hmm. in the Donbass, um, Russia has put a priority and put a lot of forces there. So the president has to make hard decisions. So I see that as a, a sound decision, get civilians out of the way while you know, th there's many battles going on. But I, I mean, I don't view it as a, you know, as a, as a sign of failure in any way. And you're an expert on urban warfare, which we've talked about in the past. I imagine, you know, being able to ensure civilians are out allows the Ukrainians to fight more effectively. Yeah, absolutely. And Russia has shown that it will not follow any rules of law in fighting, like we saw what they did to Mariupol and, and especially recently in the Severodonetsk. So I think this is a really precautionary, but you're right. In urban warfare, it would allow the Ukrainians to increase their fire if there's less danger to civilians, although there's always danger to even civilian property. You don't, you don't want your cities destroyed because then all these people have lost their homes. Major John Spencer, as always, I appreciate your expertise. Thank you so much for joining us.